So this is your inside arm, this side is knackered as you can see. Been chewing on this shit. Hi YouTube, Neil here, Faces and Interiors. In today's video, we're gonna be showing you how to measure a piece of furniture to cut the fabric. It's a very important part of the upholstery process as fabric can be quite expensive and if you're in this game, you'll know about your tight margins. So you do not wanna be over ordering and costing yourself more money and you definitely don't wanna be under ordering because if you under order, you're gonna to have to order again, you have to pay the VAT again and you have to pay another delivery charge. So you don't wanna do that. This piece of furniture here is a bit knackered. I'm doing a bit of a repair job on it, but I'm just gonna use it to show you how I would measure each bit of fabric, whether it be leather or fabric, I'm gonna show you each one. This leather is a little bit different. Leather comes in a hide, which means you get whole skin. So it's not like a fabric where you, it comes on the roll per meter. So it, you have to work it out slightly differently. That's what we're gonna be doing today. We've also done videos before on how to square off your fabric, how to cut, how the best way to cut, whether it be scissors or blades. With leather, you can probably use blades a bit more comfortably. So don't forget to like subscribe hit that notification bell so you'll see next time any of our videos come up because we're uploading every week at the moment hopefully you're enjoying these we're on 500 subscribers now so we're over the moon with that well on our way to 7 billion so without further ado let's get into the video and show you how to measure up for your fabric cutting for upholstery action so when you're cutting the furniture is split up into many different parts i'm going to go around the furniture now and explain what each part is and then later on i'll show you my diagram how i draw my diagram out and how i write my measurements down if you're cutting for someone else you need to mark what each piece is because they'll be like what is this what is this what is this you need to mark what each piece is also if you're doing it for yourself it's very important to mark the fabric because you need to know which each piece is you will get lost and before you know it you've put your outside arm on your outside back then it's all gone to it so the first thing I write down on my sheet is inside back. That is this. So this bit of fabric comes from under here, over the back, and then gets stapled off across here. This is your inside back. On your cutting form, you mark this as IB. So now we're gonna measure our inside back. So what I do here is I'll fill how much I'm gonna need down here. I normally add plus five inches onto this bottom rail here. So on my tape measure, I hold that at five inches there. I come over the top, fold it over the back, give myself plenty to play with. So that is 33 inches. So I'm gonna write that down, 33 inches top to bottom. Side to side, what they've done here is they've pulled the fabric round. So sometimes you'll have a seam here and you'll do a, a separate panel on the side, but this time they've wrapped it round, which makes it kind of easier for us. So what we're gonna do here is measure from the widest point, which is here all the way around. Give yourself a couple of inches either side. That is 39 inches side to side. Sometimes what you'll do is you'll measure from here to here on the top rail, that's 22 and a half inches. You'll cut that 23 and a half inches. Then you'll cut some side panels to go around the sides. This one, they've just wrapped it around. Onto the next piece we're gonna cut is the outside back. Right, so the next piece you're gonna cut is, this is your outside back. So your inside back comes up and over, and then your outside back comes across here. So it's pretty simple, it is a square bit of fabric. We're gonna go top to bottom, allow ourselves two inches at the bottom, maybe a little bit at the top, so 31, I'm gonna cut that. I could do it tighter, but I'm not going to. 31, top to bottom, side to side, you need to give yourself, I'd say an inch either side. So 25 inches side to side. Right, so onto our next bit of fabric. We normally go inside arm, outside arm. On this particular piece of furniture, on this particular chair, the inside arm and the outside arm are gonna be exactly the same because that is a shaped arm and the arms bolt off. So what I would normally do in this situation, if we were recovering the whole bit of furniture, is we would take this off, we'd take the other fabric off and we'd use this as a template and we'd put little marks to follow and we'd unpick this with a Stanley knife or an unpicker copy that onto another bit of leather or fabric. If you're gonna measure this as a normal bit of fabric, so you find your highest point, which is here. Allow yourself a little bit more at the top, 26 top to bottom, and then back to front. It all depends on the piece of furniture because sometimes the arms are fixed on. So the fabric would come here and all the way around the back and staple off down here. But because this was, is a bolt-on arm, the arm finishes here, it's all sewn on as one piece. What we will do is we'll measure this as a bit of furniture that we need to upholster the arm on. So what we do here, front to back, is the same. Allow yourself a good inch and a half at the front and then a couple of inches at the back, it's 41 inches. So it's 41 inches if you're cutting that as a bit of fabric and the arms aren't bolt-on. Because the arms are bolt-on, what we would do here 
like I said earlier, take it apart, unpick this panel and copy it onto a bit of leather. Likewise in fabric as well, that is what we would do. So this is your inside arm, this side is knackered as you can see. Then chilling on this shit. It's the same shape as your outside arm, it's gonna follow the same. We don't need to remeasure that, we're just gonna copy the outside arm four times and then we've got our four pieces. But if your inside arm is a different size, because sometimes it is, if your furniture's all made as one piece and the arms don't come off, a lot of the time the inside arm and the outside arm be different sizes. So if you were going to measure this, it's an inside arm that didn't come off at your widest point, all the way to the back, give yourself a couple of inches, 44 inches at the back. Right, onto our next bit of fabric is the arm border. We mark this as AB. So this runs from here, all the way to the back here, and then there's a seam here. This is gonna be two different pieces of fabric. So one that comes to here and another bit that goes all the way down. But they're gonna be the same width, obviously, just different lengths, because this one has to come all the way down. This one's only got the back to do. What I'm gonna do here is measure in a couple of places. Do you know what, I'm gonna use my soft tape for this. That is five and three quarters. Right, so that was five and three quarters inches from that point to that point. So we're gonna cut that six and three quarters. We cut that an inch big R to allow for a half inch seam allowance either side. So you can see here what I'm doing is I've got two inches at the bottom. And I'm gonna roll this over all the way to the back where the back seam is. That's 64 inches and then the back panel here is the same six and three quarters and then it's just a little bit there at the bottom 20 inches last bit we're going to measure is the seat as you can see the seat is going to come from here to under here it's going to tack off under here sewn with a bit of line in here not all seats are going to be the same sometimes the fabric will go all the way to the back on this particular one you've got a line in so you measure from here to under here it will take off under here then you sew a bit of lining on like the inside back, to save fabric, sometimes you put lining fabric on. If there is fabric it's all the way to the back, you should copy it if you're reupholstering. You should always do it as original, it's how it was when it came to you. So if it was fabric, you'd do fabric all the way to the back, but this time you'd do a lining because it had a lining on it. And you need to save on leather. Leather is really expensive. Leather is a bit different to cutting fabric. It comes on a hide, so you need to look at your leather and you need to plan it out and see where you're gonna get your best cuts from. Sometimes it's best to do your big cuts first. Do your inside back, your outside back, your inside side arms get your big cuts out and then what you've got left you work with your little cuts but leather is a different ball game to working with fabric each cow gives you about five square or the leather company tell you it gives you about five square meters but it never works out like that that's if you use every little smidge but for now so your seat let's get back to this one half inch seam allowance come all the way under 17 inches and then side to side what they've done is they've probably stapled off around the side here so i would allow five inches gives you enough to staple around either side so that is 33 inches side to side then what you would do with that because you've allowed for the lever to come pretty much to over here to staple off down the side cut your line in the same knit your center you've got your fire label here you knit your center put your fire label in the middle and then you sew your fabric on and that gives you plenty of fabric to get down and stapled off that, so that's how you measure this chair. Obviously, each bit of furniture is going to vary in style. Some chairs have got wings on, so you've got to have inside wing, outside wings. Sometimes they've got faces on, so you have to bear that in mind. It, it all depends on the style. But for this style of chair, it's very simple. Inside back, outside back. Inside arm, outside arm, arm border, seat. Make sure you measure your fabric before you take the old fabric off. That's very important because if you strip your old fabric off, you might not remember where it's stapled off. So it's always good to measure your fabric before you take the old fabric off. What I'm gonna show you now is how much I would order if I was ordering leather and how much I would order if I was ordering fabric. If I was ordering this in fabric, it's hard to work out exactly. You can do it if you do your cutting plan. You measure up what you've just measured and you work each piece out. If you are just looking at stuff, trying to be quick, say, right, let's have a quick workout. If this is fabric, because this is wrapped around the side, and if it was fabric all the way down, I'd say a meter for the inside back, meter for the outside back. Each arm would be a meter and a half when you measure how tall they are and how deep they are. You've also got to think about how wide the fabric is and how many pieces you can get out side to side. But with this, I'm looking at this as if it's wider than half width, so one meter, two meters. Each arm, I'd say, is going to be a metre and a half. So three metres for the arms. So one, two, three, four, five for the arms. That little bit for the front of the seat, five and a half. And then these two bits here, these borders, you'll have down the side, you will have leftover fabric down the side. So you wouldn't need to order any extra for that. Then you've also got the cushions as well. So we've said five and a half metres just for the frame in fabric. For the seat cushion, I would say you get two of them out of a width. 
So the seat cushion is another meter. I'd say once you've cut your seat and your borders and your zips, that's a meter. So it's five and a half, six and a half. Same for the back. Mm, the back's a bit wider actually. Is that wider than half width? You have to know how wide your fabric is as well. A lot on a lot of websites it'll tell you how wide the fabric is to your suppliers. Go to your supplier's website to tell you how wide the fabric is and you can work out. 28 and a half, might get that out of half width, so we'll do a meter for the back. So five and a half on the frame, six and a half, seven and a half. I'd go eight meters on that in fabric. So if I was looking at this as I needed to cut it, it was in leather and we needed to order the leather. There's no way that you'd get this whole chair out of one hide. They say each hide gives you five meters. We all know you don't really get five meters out of them. I would say if we were looking at this, each piece of leather gives you five meters. I would say you're gonna need two hides for this. Always allow yourself enough fabric. So if this was fabric, I'd say eight meters. In leather, I'd say two hides. So now I'm going to show you how to do a cutting plan. What we'll do is we'll do a cutting plan for fabric and we'll do a cutting plan for leather. On to the next part. Watch for now. So this is how I draw my diagram. So IB inside back, OB outside back. Inside arm, IA. Outside arm, OA. Arm border, AB. Back arm border, BAB. And then you see. So I go top to bottom in the first bit side to side in the second bit in the second column so 33 by 39 31 by 25 inside arm outside arm exactly the same size because they are the same so arm border 64 so that is the long arm border that comes all the way down by six and three quarters so these are all big sizes except for this one arm border and the back arm border which need to be exact because they are going to be sewn either side so six and three quarters inches these are all measurements in inches that allows for you for sewing you can draw this diagram out however you want just make sure you remember but each piece where it goes this is just how i do mine sometimes you'll have inside wing and outside wing on there as well you might even have faces on there as well you have to cut face panels that is how i draw out my diagrams for cutting right guys so what we're doing is let's pretend this piece of a4 fabric paper is a roll of fabric and it's 140 centimeters wide that is 55 inches and we're going to determine how long we need that fabric to be because that is how the fabric comes on a roll it's normally 140 centimeters can vary can be 138 can be a bit wide so what I've done is I started drawing out a cutting plan. So we've gone to our measurements and we're going to do our widest cuts first. So 26 was our top to bottom. So our side to side was 41. So we've done that as our widest cut first. There's four of them, two inside arms, two outside arms, because there's two arms. Next, we come to our next widest part of fabric, which is inside back, 33 inches by 39. So that is a little bit shorter. Then the next bit is the seat, which is 17 by 33. So as you can see here, you're coming down with your big cuts and then you're starting to make a bit more space here. So down here, we've got arm borders as well, which is six and three quarter inches wide. So what I would do here, this isn't gonna be very tidy now, but what you do here is get your arm borders out of here. They are six and three quarters side to side by 64 inches front to back. So 64 inches this way, and then six and three quarters side to side so you'll get them out of the side there you'll have plenty then you've got your back arm borders as well which are the smaller bits which are the same width so if you add all that up 40 80 so you should have plenty here so you'll get them too out of there and then you'll get back arm borders as well out of here without you having to cut into this new bit of fabric here so you've got to make the most of all your fabric so that is why we do this then the next part we're going to cut is our cushions and i know that the cushions were about the seat cushion was about 20 inches wide so the seat cushion will get two out of a whip so let's say that one and that one is our seat. I haven't got the exact measurements for the seat, but I know that we can get two of them out of a width. So we'll get the seats down here as well. And then the back cushions, we will get two out of the width as well. Then you make sure you allow extra, I'd say normally a meter, meter and a half, because on them seats, you're gonna need borders. They're well, probably five inches wide, six inches. So you're gonna need a border to go around the front of the seat and all the way back. I'd allow a meter and a half for borders and zip borders. So you can kind of work out here, how much fabric you're gonna need. So 41 is just over a meter. So let's say one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a meter and that's a meter. So, so that is your eight meters. The seat isn't gonna be in exactly a meter and the back isn't gonna be exactly a meter. So you are gonna have a bit left over down here for your borders and your zip borders and your piping and stuff. So that is how you do a cutting plan. You'll know once you've got all your measurements, you can kind of work it out. Go on your, your supplier's website and it should say how wide the fabric is. So then you can work out if you can get two sometimes you can get two cuts out of a width which you can with the seats and you can with the backs that saves you a lot of fabric because you can get two sides a side instead of one on top of each other because then you're using double the fabric so that is how you do a cutting plan for fabric 
Right guys, so what I thought I'd show you is what a full hide of leather comes like. So that is what a full hide looks like. I'd say there's probably about three square meters there, maybe a bit more. As I explained earlier, when you're doing leather, you need to plan it a bit more than you do with fabric. With fabric, you can basically write it out on a cutting plan. With leather, you don't know how much exactly you're going to get. So sometimes it's worth, like I said, cutting some templates out of old lining. I've got some wood pieces here just to sort of give you an idea but what we would do sometimes is use a cheap old fabric like a bottom in bottom in's quite cheap and then we would use that to lay it on then you can sort of make sure you're getting the most out of the leather another thing you have to do with leather sometimes you're going to get a scar where the cow is scarred or a number where the cow is printed with a number sometimes you get little imperfections in the leather so you do have to be careful with leather so what we would do is say we have more of these we'd lay them out make sure we're getting the most out of what we're cutting so let's say we cut that there, we've got a little bit left over here, or you move that over there. See here, if I turn this, I can get more of it in here. If you get one, two out of there. If you have got leather and it's gonna be tight, it's always worth cutting your panels out of an old bit of fabric or a bottom in, something that's really cheap. Cut your panels out of that and then you can sort of plan how you're gonna get the most out of your leather. So that is how you measure your fabric for a chair like this, or any chair, you can apply it to any situation. And you can work out with your cutting plan how much fabric you're gonna need. Always better to have a little bit too much than not enough, especially when it comes to fabric. So thanks for watching, we'll see you next week.